draft. Ben, I'll start with you. You can go as deep as you want. You can go round four, round three, round two. I don't really care. What do you want to see the 49ers do with their draft this year? Well, I kind of want to go by this round by round. So I want to start with the first round. I think, you know, quite frankly, I I, th- I don't know if 12 is the best position to be at in, in this year's draft. I think if Rashawn Slater were to fall to you, I would absolutely take him. And, and I think I think if there's a quarterback, Mac Jones or Trey Lance or whoever it may be, if the 49ers are in love with them, they should take them at that spot. But realistically, if, if neither of those two options are available, I would love to see this team trade down about three to seven spots. And, and the reason I say that is because this, this team only has two picks in the top 100. You know, everyone's talking about all the draft picks that they have, but they don't have as many high draft picks as you would have liked to have seen. So, you know, I would really like that. And, and then, you know, in terms of the first round, I think something that we could easily see and a scenario I, I could very well see playing out is this team trading back into the end of the first round if there's a quarterback that they want. You know, often you'll see teams do this recently, like with the Lamar Jackson situation. Obviously, he's a great player, but, you know, the, the concept is there. If there's a quarterback you want towards the end of the first round and you don't think he's going to last that far to you in the second round, go up and grab him at that 31 spot, that 29 spot, whatever you have to do, because you'll get that fifth year option as well. And, and that's so valuable for, for these quarterbacks. And I think the main thing with drafting a quarterback, and I promise I won't talk all quarterbacks, but the main thing is that they just need to be a Baker Mayfield level of good or better. You know, if they're just that level of, of, of quality, then, you know, the Browns have shown you can easily build a team around that kind of player because you're paying them such a low amount of money and you get that fifth year option. Like I was saying, so, you know, that, that five year deal for that quarterback position is so valuable. It's one of the best commodities in the NFL and that can't be understated. And and I think if I'm looking for the rest of the draft, like I alluded to earlier, I think this team is going to take a receiver um, late day two, early day three. I I think that's a really possible, a really huge possibility, but the position I want to see them and I need to see them take in the first two rounds is a corner. I, I mean, while this team was able to sign back a few players like Jason Verrett and, a, and um, Emmanuel Mosley, the, the issue for me is, is that they need to get younger at the position and they need to bring in fresh blood to me. So a, a guy I would love to see, of course, you know, I, I'm all FSU. Asante Samuel Jr. would be, I think, a great, great. That would be a great spot for him to land. I, I'd love to see that, um, you know, but I think just just in general for the draft, I think the three positions I need to see this team address are quarterback, cornerback and offensive lineman. And, and even if they don't take an offensive lineman high in the draft, I think the depth that they could get in the draft, that could be really key because as, as we've seen, they're going to get injuries at some point and they're going to need to be able to fill those spots. So for me, you know, that's how I see this draft playing out. Um, I, I think those three positions are are of the most importance. And I think if they take those three positions and three out of their first four picks, I'd certainly be very happy.